Hey everyone, Bernard here. I hope you're all staying safe and well. And look at the new camera angle. Yeah, well, I'm doing a, doing a board game today, aren't we? So just so I can get the actual board on the screen with my limited, limited uh, sort of uh, equipment uh, using me phone and having to balance it on my laptop, etc. So uh, yeah, one day, one day I'll, I'll go into the 21st century and be able to afford to buy some great equipment. But uh, it does the job, doesn't it? Anyway, uh, welcome to Toys for Us, of course. But we have a look at uh, some city things. This is quite a rare one at the moment. I've been looking on the internet. Uh, there are versions of it. Uh, the, the company that made it did produce uh, versions for uh, for other clubs as well so we're talking about this little thing today all about football so we're gonna have a look at that a little sneak preview you've seen on the thumbnail of the game itself yeah there are, uh, we're gonna have a look at that today anyway so we'll have a chat about that please if you're new to the channel push that subscribe button push the bell notifications and all these little vlogs are coming out everything about city games and matches city present city history players lots of different things as you can see from all the playlists and of course there's uh, stuff for my film and tv channel as well there'll be links on screen for facebook and twitter so if you follow a friend me on there do check every couple of days and follow a friend everyone back and of course uh, a little website where i sell old rare dvds i've obviously used to have a video shop back in the 90s and 2000s so i still sell old rare dvds movie posters from that era and of course uh, little board games as well so yeah check that out and all your comments are very welcome i like this game it's a trivia game obviously it's always good to have trivia games isn't it but uh, yeah all your comments are welcome and please give us a thumbs up that'd be great yeah so yeah it's a shame this one all about football they did say they would bring some extra trivia questions out i mean there's lot there's lots in here anyway but uh, yeah the firm that put it together um what they called not the most in innovative of names obviously all about football uh, all about football limited or whatever was established in about 2005 and obviously they, they sort of did 2005 2006 up to that season so all the questions on this are up to 2005 2006 so obviously if you're younger you'll have to play as part of a team perhaps to get some of them out of you know, unless you give the give clues and stuff like that but uh, yeah they did it i've seen rangers ones i've seen arsenal i've seen liverpool i've seen united of course uh, so uh, obviously in city but uh, yeah this is officially uh, official merchandise mcfc so assume we had, we did sell it in the in the shop at some stage uh, and i'm sure they don't sell it anymore but uh, yeah as i say it's not been updated unfortunately but uh, yeah we're gonna have we're gonna have a look at this today and as i say they actually went out of business i think 2013 or something like that so uh sadly no longer with us but uh, <laughs> there you go that's, that's how it is isn't it i mean obviously they, they adapted this for other teams obviously the basic board can be used for any team obviously the, the questions are very specific so i'm going to drag the camera down now and we're going to have a look at this uh, availability is yeah pretty pretty check car boot sales you may have one in the loft yourself but uh, dig it out it is a good game it's a good trivia game there's not many good sort of trivial pursuit type games about football teams and certainly not about manchester city so this is the only one i can sort of see out there at the moment there is a, a travel version as well which I'm, i've made a bid on to try and buy that version but uh, we'll see we'll see what happens again there's not many of that about as well but uh, that might be a future one i'll just drag this little uh, camera down now so I'm trying to get all the board in view. So there you go. There's the actual board. Nice, nice, simple instructions. Just, just one page. And obviously we've got uh, Martin Tyler there, uh, sort of author. You know, sort of putting his name to it and stuff like that. And uh, research questions and answers by various people. All about football, Man City football edition. Where research compiled by Jed Raya and Dave Ball. Both Jed and Dave are renowned quiz enthusiasts and researchers in all aspects of the sport. So. I don't know if they're still around at the moment, but then you get a simple one page. That's what I like to see, one page in instruction sheet that uh, isn't too complicated. That's what we always like to see in this sort of thing. I'll just have a look at that after to make sure I don't miss anything to tell you, but it's not overly complicated. Nice, nice box uh, there to go with the, with the thing. Nice little box, solid, really solid. Now you've got all your cards, all your question cards, of course, uh, colour colour coordinated etc etc fantastic in and out so in and out there you go in and out <laughs> so there's here's the counters and i was playing a game the other week if you watch my vlog soccer supremo and i did say it was hard to get these counters with balls at a flat base but there you go <laughs> we've got them in this one that's absolutely fantastic so 
Obviously you can play as teams or individuals for six colours. I'm sure if you found more tokens you could have more players. And you've got two different dice. You've got a normal standard dice with the, the one to six on it. And you've got the uh, the skill dice, which is a bit limited. You've even got minuses on it where you have to move back. But that's a sort of X. That's a, uh, if you like, the enhanced professional game. So we'll have a look at that after anyway. Uh, substitute. Got substitute cards here, which uh, I think there's. Uh, you could have the six teams. You could have three each. They're all colour colour coded as well, so you can do it to the particular colour you are. So all these are substitute things, substitute cards, so you, you have three each. I mean, obviously with less players, you could probably have more each or something like that, but we'll uh, talk about them in, in a moment. And of course, the question cards, there you go. I, had a, I was having a quick look at look through these uh, things the other day, and uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say I got, it, I got all the questions right, unfortunately, but there you go. Uh, Say so it's quite hard. Is it for 2005, 2006? There's some cards where I didn't get any of the questions right. There's some cards where I got uh, most of them right. So it's, uh, you know me. I'm not even though I do these quizzes and stuff. As you know, I don't, I don't always. Uh, I'm not all, always that good at doing it. So yeah, your starting point. Uh, your starting point for this is kickoff. There's a kickoff thing down here. Let's just move these to the side out of the way. Yeah, got so you got a kickoff. So you'd all start from your kickoff kickoff spot of course and the whole aim of the thing the whole aim of the game like any trivial pursuit game is to get all up there obviously this is a second division there so you're in the second division hey we've, we've not quite been there that's the old this is the new second division and you come up to the first division this is the first division and then you come up to the championship this is the championship down there and then you come up to the premiership of course and full first one to reach full time and obviously when you do reach full time uh the other team's choose a question for you to answer it could be home and away it could be rules and discipline competitions all about football players and managers so there's there's different things it could be and they get they decide what you're going to answer then you throw the dice and, and if you answer that question correctly you win and if you don't wait you don't get it right you wait till your next go and it's just a simple uh trivial pursuit rules of now let's say if you play with the normal dice five one two three four five so obviously you pick your third card first card and look at the yellow which is all about football so sometimes these aren't, aren't specific to city they could be just be football in general so here we go here's one that i'm going to get totally wrong probably i've not cheated i've not looked at these who was manchester city player according to steve staunton's first republic of ireland squad against sweden in march 2006 with richard dunn <sighs> uh, i'm thinking of irish players um is it teddy Phelan? is it teddy Phelan classed as irish Oh, Stephen Ireland. See, I was nowhere near. Absolute rubbish. So I wouldn't be getting another goal. But obviously, if you get it right, then you get to throw the dice again and get another goal. So you, you go. I mean, if you got all the questions right, in theory, you could win the game without anyone else playing. But obviously, it's, it's not as easy as that, is it? You can see from those. Let's have another one. Let's see. We, so we get two. One, two. Competitions they are. So it's red. Who scored the first goal of the 1987 FA Cup final and later joined Manchester City? There you go. So have you any idea? Later joined Manchester City. First goal, 87. Oh, 87 FA Cup final. I have no idea. It wasn't Brighton, was it? It wasn't Brighton United. That was uh, 86, wasn't it? Was that 86, 87? Oh, no. I'm struggling a bit because I'm just thinking of the two Brighton players that did, then did join us, didn't they? But I can't even remember their names now. It had come to me. We had time, but we haven't got the time, have we? But it's Clive Allen anyway, obviously. He must have been playing for Tottenham Hotspur, so I wouldn't have moved on in that. But there you go. That shows my total inadequacies. Because as I say, you can play with that dice. When you get up to the Premier side there, you can actually start throwing these dice. So you can actually move backwards and forwards so it becomes harder. So you can end up losing two spaces or minus one space. Or you could move up four spaces. So you can do that there. Or if you're playing the, the, uh, the actual, they call it the professional game, you can use that all the way through and you'd probably be at it all night, wouldn't you? Because <laughs> you'd be moving back. I mean, obviously you, you can move forward more, but if you're unlucky, you end up with minuses all the time. So... There you go. I mean, there's no little little triangles to collect or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, the questions are all there. The answers are there. Now, one thing you do get is a little penalty shootout. See that little square there? It says penalty, penalty shootout on there. Uh, have you got one that you can see? That penalty shootout, penalty shootout, penalty shootout. I think there's two on each strip. 
Yeah, and if you land on one of them, you actually get the chance of answering all the questions. And depending on how many questions you get, you move forward that many spaces. So if you got all five correct, you could move forward another five spaces. So uh, there you go, that's what the penalty shootout is. Yeah, so I say the enhanced version is you play with that all the time, or the, sorry, the uh, professional version is you play with that dice all the time with the minuses on and the enhanced version is you play the normal dice up to here and then once a the player gets onto this last strip up to full time to win the game he starts playing he starts playing with the minus dice rather than the, the the ordinary dice so there you go that's the basic principle substitute cards there we go we didn't talk about substitute cards yeah if you do get answered a question and like me then uh <laughs> you could uh, say i'll play my substitute card and actually ask another question with the same colour and pick a, pick another card out of the box. So that's what the substitute cards. You can use three. So you can use three in a, in a game. So I would have used two already once if I wanted to. But uh, <laughs> there you go. I'll probably, you'll probably say, try and save but won't, won't you for this set, this final throw. As I say, age-wise, obviously with it being 2005, 2006, up to that season, it's probably better for older players. Uh, just have a quick look on the rules. See if there's anything I miss with this. But yeah, it's probably better for for older players to play it. And obviously, obviously, have teams if you've got younger players, or or give them hints. I mean, or if there's dates involved, which there are on some, let them have a, a year or two out either way. You can mess around with the uh, with the strictness of the game. Yeah. So uh, they may wish to set a time limit for the answers as well. So you want to say right, you've got to answer it in thirty seconds. You've got an egg timer from another game. Put that in. Uh, they may be precise as the answer so the answer is 1977 you could allow 76 or 78 uh, when a player violates any of the rules uh, yeah you might you might sort of throw them back say you have to go back six spaces if you've been naughty or you cheat or, or whatever perhaps you're looking at your phone or something like that but uh, it's a pretty good trivia game I think we've covered up uh, most of the things there's 300 300 of these question and answer games. So even say even though they've not added question and answer cards, even though they've not added to it, there's quite a lot to go at, isn't there? So that should keep you quiet for a little while uh, with this game. So that's absolutely brilliant. Let's put this back up again. Yeah, so as you can see, it's uh, not a bad game, not a bad trivia game. As I say, if you're useless like me, I'd never win, would I? I mean, I'm just, obviously, you move forward. You don't particularly move back unless you start playing with those new dice if you don't. So, but obviously, if you can answer two, three, four questions in a row, you can zoom up and down this, this board quite quickly. And uh, as I said, you've got teams, even better, you know, obviously, you can sort of try and decide between yourselves who, who's right and who's wrong. But... Uh, yeah, I, I like this. I like this game. So it's very, very limited availability. So you're going to have to check check your attics. You may have it up there from, from uh, 15, 16 years ago when it first came out. But I think this is a great little trivia game. And uh, as I say, we, we are short of good trivia football games specific to our football club. And as I say, there's non-city non related questions on there as well. So it's just good fun for adults, isn't it? And say uh, 12, 12 plus or younger players can play the team and... Uh, Obviously, uh, they'll still get some enjoyment out of that, and it's, it's good fun, but uh, keep your eye out for it, as I say. It's, uh, there are other versions currently available. I've not seen a City version on the internet at the moment, but uh, as I say, keep your eyes peeled. Keep keep checking those internet sites. If, yeah, but it's certainly, payment to pay-wise, yeah, I mean, I, I would certainly pay up to 15 quid for this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bulk at paying that, perhaps up to 20. I think it was uh, about £30 when it first came out, something like that, but uh, with it being such a good game... Uh, and of its time, as I said, uh, up to the 2005-06 season, I certainly wouldn't bulk at paying that sort of money. Anyway, let me know if you've got this and you, uh, well, you've got it and you want to sell it. Put a stick on AB. Let, let let some other city fan have a have a go at this. It's uh, you know a lot of people just put them in the lofts and they don't they don't bother anymore, do they? But uh, if you do have a copy, let put it out there, put it out there, and let other city fans have a go at it. And uh, I say it's it's a good. I like it. It's one of my uh, yeah. It's one of my sort of when I bought it. I thought, oh, this looks really good. And when I also had a little quick play through on my own. That's my Billy No Mates. But uh, as I say, I did do better on some of the questions when I was playing having a little practice on my own but uh, I should have cheated shouldn't I? I should have brought out cards and answered the questions too but uh, I'm, I'm not I'm not like it's all good fun I'm just proving how absolutely useless I am anyway let, let me know in the comments what you think we're going to do this day have a great one look after yourselves look after your friends look after your families more importantly let's all look after each other so we meet here again on the citizen channel or perhaps have a flit across have a look at my film and tv channel channel I only ask one thing please stay safe blues come on city Thanks for watching. Bye for now.